Blake, tonight's whiskey review is a single malt scotch from the Speyside region that you may not be familiar with. Craig Alaki, 13 year old, single malt scotch. So, Craig Alaki. You're not familiar with that name, are you? There's a good reason for that. Craig Alaki, or Craig Alaki, I can't pronounce it properly because I'm not a resident of Scotland. This distillery is old, been around since 1891, currently owned by the Bacardi Multinational Group through their subsidiary Dewars, or John Dewars and Sons. Craig Lackey, the distillery, puts out about 4 million liters a year, so big output. But where has it been going? If it's not been a single malt that's familiar to you or I, it's because it's been mostly put into blended Scotch whiskey. Uh, blends like in the past White Horse and in the Doors blends. White Horse, by the way, is a cheap blended Scotch whiskey that I absolutely love with an Isla influence that if you can find it, buy it. In spite of its super cheap price, you're thinking it can't be good. White Horse, really good stuff. So that's my spiel on that. What can I, else can I tell you about this whiskey? Alcohol by volume, 46%. Nice cork closure. So with 46% alcohol by volume, you would think it'd be uh, non-chill filtered, and it is non-chill filtered, but artificial color? Mixed debate. Uh, online, some people say it's artificial color, others say it isn't. I talked to a guy in the industry who's in the know, and I can't say who he is, but he's in LA, and he tells me they're using some artificial color. Anyway, 13 year age statement, as I said, which is kind of unusual. Uh, single malt scotch industry is much like the hotel industry in the sense that when you get on an elevator, there's no button for the 13th floor. Bad luck. But strangely enough, this distillery, to their credit, started in 2014 releasing a 13 year old age statement, a uh, 17 year old, and I think a 21. 21 was in duty free, or the 17 was in duty free. But the point is, they put out a 13-year-old. You don't see that very often. The nose is honey, barley, marmalade, a little bit of ginger, some cereal. It's fragrant. And the price point. Uh, Craig Lackey, the price point is good. It's not expensive. Uh, at all in the 12 year old single malt category. It's, it's very competitive. Let's give it a try. Initially when it's undiluted at 46% alcohol by volume, it's a bit explosive in a good way. A big rush of, of, of blood orange, spiced marmalade, um, buttered toast with some wild honey and brown sugar, barley toy. It's got a big body with some white pepper. And on the finish, I'm picking up some ginger. Big body, grassy notes. The finish is drying, malty. You got that ginger. Let's try with a little bit of water. Distilled water only. Not distilled water, but uh, natural water. You know, uh, Evian or something like that. I'm gonna put a teaspoon in because it's 46% alcohol by volume. Give a little swirl here. When you put water, it does affect the nose. The nose now becomes more like damp wood, kind of fall leaves. It really takes down the uh, fragrant floral notes to it. Much more sweet with water. Golden barley. 
it's got a cereal note with a bit of sugar, like sugar cane, but in a good way. It's not cloyingly sweet. On the finish with a bit of water. Some grilled pineapple on a barbecue. There's a little bit of smoke with the water on the finish. You get some of that ginger. Sometimes I like this neat. Sometimes I like it with water. It's really good. Kragalaki, 13-year-old single malt. Highly recommended. And I think distribution is going to be pretty widespread. Uh, being as it's owned by Doors, and the distillery puts out a lot of whiskey each year. Now, still, the vast majority of their output will end up in blended scotch, probably Chivas, and others within the uh, John Doors brand ownership portfolio. But I think you're going to see more of this. It was launched in 2014, and when it was launched in 2014, I think it was a little wild. And it got some negative reviews. It's improved vastly since then. Sitting here in 2018, Craig Lackey 13 is an excellent buy at an excellent price. It's kind of, it's just, it's like Highland Park was 20 years ago. Nobody knew about it except real Scotch enthusiasts. And it was at a good price then, no longer. Thanks for tuning in. Cheers.